take two. It's been about four years since I've done a video on this channel. And the, the channel originally started out to be a channel with some, just some junk and turned into my truck channel. Um, we moved. As you can see in my last video, well, other than the taco one, which I'm going to be deleting that. We moved. Um, we live in a different area now. Uh, pretty close. I think we we're about 15, 15, no, about 30 miles from where we were before. The truck here sat on a trailer for about four or five months at our realtor's on our realtor's property before we um, got this house. Um, we bought the house. We had a bunch of work done to it. Had it painted on the inside. Put new carpet in. Some new tile. We redid the kitchen, uh, the hall bath. Um, put window coverings in. Stuff like that. Um, we still have more work to do on the house. It's been four years and we still have more work to do on the house. I've got a three car garage now. I've got my Mini parked over in the one car side. I've got a set of shelves right here behind the camera which we've got stuff piled on and pretty much the truck is sitting in the two car space. I don't have my toolbox here. It's still in storage. Um, and, my, and my compressor's in storage and some other stuff. We've got uh, probably it's a, a 10 by 20 it's probably a quarter full and we need to empty it up this year um, so the truck's still here I've done nothing to it I've parked it in the garage I use the hood as my workbench um, I'm always tinkering with stuff um, and after I do this video I've got some um, some carpenter bee traps I'm going to make and I'm going to be using the top of the hood as a uh, workbench again. I, I purchased some uh, school lockers. That wall back over there is going to be where my, work, my workbench is going to be and the lockers are going to go right up there all the way up to the top. I'll show you a picture of it uh, when, uh, when I'm done with this talk. So my plan is to finish this truck. It's still a low budget thing. I'm uh, trying not to spend a lot of money. I have been buying parts for it still. I picked up this hood, which is in better shape than the hood I have. I couldn't pass it up. It was on eBay. I picked it up for 150 bucks. It was close by. I didn't have to pay shipping. Excuse me, my throat's dry. At the same time I picked that up, I picked up a uh, Super 6 intake manifold carb and a air cleaner. Uh, I picked up some emblems from the guy, um, and uh, he had a lot of other stuff that I could I could have just spent a ton of money there. The amount of emblems he had, and the prices he was willing to sell them for, and mainly just the um, the hundreds badges, the little plaques that go on the side of the truck, um, everything from one hundreds up to seven hundreds, full sets, some of them excellent condition. I picked up a 200 and a 500 because I'm going to try to um, cast one as a, a 225 for the um, for the engine size in in the truck. I finally got all my letters for Fargo on the hood, um, so I have a full set of letters of Fargo on the hood, and I have one one script for the side fender that I was able to get, but the guy who shipped it to me broke it, so now it's in two pieces. But I've decided not to use those. I think I'm going to make my own letters for the hood. I've already cast the Dodge and the Fargo. I still need to, to cast the E, or not cast, but make the mold for the E. And I think I'm going to go, I'm going to make my own M, and I think what I'm going to do is my letters on the front of my hood are going to say Mopar. And um, I want to try to do the side script as Mopar also uh, and get away from the Fargo and the Dodge on it. I thought that would be interesting. I've been on Facebook a lot uh, on some of the D100 uh, sites on Facebook and I think one of, the last, one of the last things I commented on was why does everybody paint these trucks flat black? I mean, I would have loved to see the color of this truck uh, prior to the kid I bought it from uh, who painted it flat black. And I think people 
most people don't care. Um, the guy who posted his truck, um, I think he picked it up that way, but pretty much it's to show people that they're still under construction. I don't know. I, I would love to have seen the patina. You know, I, you know my hood, uh, I know that there was going to be, there's a lot of rust, uh, surface rust underneath it. My doors are, uh, have been patched uh, on the uh, skins, and I, I could tell that the job wasn't done very well. My doors are rusted on the bottom, and I have holes cut in for the speakers. I mean, we went over that on some of the videos in the past. I don't think I'm going to do any repairs on that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put, uh, clean them out, do some rust converter on it, paint the inside of the doors, maybe some sound deadening, uh, maybe make a simple patch and rivet it on the bottom where it's rusted underneath and just go with that. This truck was never going to be a show truck. Come on, it's, it's a 225 uh, slant 6 with a 4 speed. Um, pretty much everything on this truck was worn out when I bought it. I mean, uh, the kid I bought it from, I know he was trying to blow some smoke up my hindsight, but I saw the truck for what it was. Um, and I told him, and I think I said this in one of my past videos, that uh, I, would, I wouldn't pay a dime over 500 bucks for it. And I've never seen somebody move so fast. He was standing right next to me, and I think he wanted to sell the truck for eight and a quarter or nine something. I had been watching it on Craigslist. He started at like 1500 bucks, and nobody bid on it. And I thought, I think I'm going to go look at that. There was two trucks at the time when my wife said I could get a truck. One had shaved door handles on it. It was a 66 and no tailgate. Oh, the tailgate was some kind of homemade tailgate with uh, some kind of machine wire uh, to where the air could flow through it or something. I don't know. It was kind of strange, but I, I wasn't digging the uh, shaved door handles. It did have a V8 in it, and I I think it might have been an automatic. I don't remember. A gal was selling it. She was somewhere in the Central Valley here in California. And I bought this uh, just below Modesto off 99 in California. So we go and meet the guy. And um, we were there for probably two and a half hours, my son and I, talking to them. Really nice people. Really nice people. I tried to take it for a ride. It was one of the scariest things I ever did. Kids saying, oh, it's a driver. And uh, it won't stay in gear. It, has, it had almost no power. And the brake pedal would go to the floor. And he's saying, oh, not a problem. I drive it all the time. And I'm like thinking, wow, if he drives it, I don't think he drove it. I think he was just trying to sell it. And that's fine. I knew, I knew what I was getting into. Everything on this truck is worn out. It had an excellent chrome grill. It still has an excellent chrome grill. The, bumper, the, bump, the front bumper was bent. The rear bumper is your typical, um, you know, uh, commercial made step style bumper that were put on these trucks aftermarket. Um, the truck was supposed to be a, th a three speed. Uh, I would have rather it been a three speed. I like the three on the tree sh shifter, um, but it's a four speed now. The uh, shifter hand, the, the transmission I think came out of a different truck because the shifter handle actually hits the seat. The, um, the offset in the, um, the handle is not right. It, it's laid back too far. But I was able to pick up a transmission for like 25 bucks on eBay uh, out of a 67. And my son picked it up for me. It was in LA. So here I am, my truck sitting here, on sitting on new tires and wheels. I got no brakes on it. I just had the, the hubs on the spindles with no back plates or anything on it. Um, it's sitting. The springs have relaxed again since I dropped it back down on the ground four years ago. And I, you know, I, I, I like the height that it's at. I don't like the new trucks right now with how high they are. You can't get into the bed over the side. I mean, they're, you're like trying to get into them. Um, and, and these trucks are, are really nice. They're you know, pretty much the trucks from the 90s and back had a better stance to them than some of the trucks they have now. And so, um, 
The only thing is, I need to get a little more clearance out of it. I, th I think I want to raise it a, just a hair, and I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I'm thinking of helper hel helper leaves on the front, and maybe overloads in the back. I'm not sure. The uh, shackles, I'm looking at them right now. The shackles have have gone almost all the way into the frame, so there's no swing. There's not much swing left. But the you know the springs are flat and they do bend up. You know, springs can go bend either way. So, um, I mean, that's kind of it. I'll show you some of the parts I got. But uh, what's going to happen here? Well, my garage is not set up. I don't have the lights I had in my last garage. My last garage was lit really well. But I have purchased the, the, uh, the garage lights, and I just need to start putting them up and start building my workbench. I'm going to try to do a video, oh, maybe once a month if I can, uh, showing the progress of the garage and or the truck. But let me show you the um, some of the stuff I got and a little explanation of it. Okay? So here's one of the items I had. I picked this up about a, about a year ago. Um, this front axle. I needed um, I needed one of the hubs for my truck. The um, the the race in the back of my hub on one of the sides is completely worn out and the race, not the race, but the pocket for the race and so it doesn't, it just falls right out and so I don't want to um, use that hub anymore so I bought this just for the hubs I ended up, uh, uh, it had the springs on it still when I picked it up I picked this up for 40 bucks and I, um, I sold the um, the shock mounts uh, to a person on a Facebook uh, Facebook group, uh, one of the swept line Facebook groups. He was uh, converting or reconverting, or I don't know what you call it. He had a, a D100 that somebody turned into a four-wheel drive, and I guess they did a pretty shitty job, and so he was going to convert it back to two-wheel drive, and he didn't have the shock mounts. So... Um, I'm going to probably keep the spindles and get rid of the rest of the axle. I do need the uh, the tie the, oops sorry the tie rod bar for my truck. Mine is bent, um, but other than that, uh, I'm going to probably get rid of the rest of this. So one of the other things I got was a um, an aluminum intake manifold off of a 59 or 60 slant six. It doesn't have the uh, the hole for the um, was it the uh, crankcase ventilation valve? So I'm going to have to um, weld something in here and drill through it so I can have a crankcase ventilation, a positive crankcase ventilation. So it's pretty nice. This thing doesn't weigh hardly anything. It's not like the newer the newer ones that were clamshelled together and welded. And so uh, this is going to go on the truck. It's nice and nice and lightweight. And I picked up a uh, paper element air filter. Normally these go, people are crazy on what they want for these things. Crazy. They, they sell anywhere from 50 to 100 and a quarter. So I picked this up off of, uh, what was it? Uh, I think it was Craigslist. And I, um, I think I paid like 10 bucks for it. So uh, that's cool. I got a stud kit for my cylinder head. Um, the cylinder head's sitting on the engine right now, but it's not bolted. It's got a couple bolts just to hold it in place, um, just while it was in storage to cover the cylinders up. The bolts were in pretty bad shape. Uh, the heads were rounded off, and they they were they just looked like junk. So I thought, well, I'll splurge a little bit and got the uh, got the. Uh, head studs and bolts for it. And then the steering box. This was a remanufactured steering box that I got on eBay oh, I don't know how many years ago, probably three years ago or more. And I think what it was was it was old stock from a rebuilding shop and they were trying to off some stuff and um, what people want for these 
is nuts, even even worn out ones. And so um, this, I believe, was about a hundred dollars. So that will be going on the truck. And then, of course, I have an NOS arm for. Um, for my visors, I, I've got a later model visor in there. People really butchered up this truck, but I wanted to put dual visors on it, so I have the visors. So that um, those will go on. And one more thing, let me see if I can uh, show you this. Is a sticker for the uh, valve cleaner when I when I clean it up and uh, repaint it black. I'm going to I'm not going to be using the oil bath so I'll be using this uh, air cleaner. I had picked up a uh, Super 6 intake manifold from the guy I picked up the uh, hood from and um, I got that an air cleaner and a carb for a core or a rebuild and um, I decided I didn't want to put the two barrel on this. Um, I decided I wanted to do the one barrel and use this intake that I got. A um, little weight savings on it. I don't, I don't know if I would get that much of an increase in uh, power out of this uh, Slant 6. Plus, what I'm using the truck for, it's not that big a deal. So that's it. That's the truck. Sitting in my garage. Used as a... Um, a workbench. Oh, I'll show you the lockers I got. The lockers I picked up uh, last week that are going to go over my bench over here on the wall. Here they are. It came out of a, um, I don't know if it was a junior high or a elementary school in Livermore that closed down. And so, um, oops, just school lockers one last thing if anybody lives in the San Francisco Bay Area stocked in Sacramento and needs a grill and headlight bezels for a uh, 62 to early 65 I've got one I've got one in real good condition um, the grill is immaculate, just needs to be sanded and painted. The bezels, one of them has one little tiny surface rust spot and a little tiny ding in it. Probably just be tapped out with a hammer and sanded out. I got it from the same guy that I picked this up from. I was going to use it as a wall hanger, but I thought, I got so many things I got to put on the walls here that uh, there's going to be no room for it. Be a TV on the wall over here, I got shelving going all the way around, I got the lockers over there. And I've got my uh, my Sinclair sign needs to go up. So send me a comment. I've got the grill. Uh, trying to get 200 bucks for it. I don't sell. It's not a big deal. Don't don't need the money. And then my 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 hood. Not in terrible shape. Not in great shape. Um, it does have a little rust at the front edge. Um, <coughs> excuse me, at the front edge where it's starting to come through. <coughs> and a couple of the typical dents and dings. I think I'll probably off that for about 75 bucks. Um, because I'll be putting I'll be putting this hood on it. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again. And um, by the way, we've uh, I've been doing YouTube videos uh, the last over the last seven months or so with my wife. We've been do we started a channel for our family, so um, we've put out about 25 videos I think so far. Uh, we're trying to chronicle our lives and document our lives for our grandkids and future great grandkids and stuff like that. So um, I have been making videos in the last year. And I'm hoping to get back into this again. Thank you.